TBS is running promos of their new show Slap, Power Slap in fact, and they've teamed up with UFC's Dana White to do this. You know, because people wanna see folks getting slapped in competitive fashion. As a matter of fact, it's such a game show type of feel that they even do a couple profiles as if you're on Wheel of Fortune. Let's check out this guy's profile of how he's a true slap artist. Watch more. One for the money, two for the show. My name is Alex Asbury, I'm from Concord, North Carolina. I'm not a heavy guy, but I got a heavy hand, you know? I always like competing when it comes to fighting. Like, I've always been a a heavy boxer. That's really really my lane. I haven't been slapped in a long time. Honestly, I I can't think of the last time I've been slapped, but I know I can take a hit well, so I think I'm gonna do great. I'm ready, I'm super excited. Like, it's gonna be a slobber knocker. I'm gonna get somebody to get something out of there. Slobber knocker, of course, that was planned. Uh, by the way, in case you guys are looking to throw your face into the ring, here are the rules that you're gonna have to follow in case you wanna get slapped the hell out of. Competitors are not allowed to flinch, these are the rules. Flinch when receiving a slap, leading to claims that they're defenseless. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. White has called the competition, which has been licensed by the Nevada State Athletic Commission as quote, the ultimate test of toughness. <laughs> Can your cheeks handle it? Like MMA and in boxing, bouts are judged on a 10 point must system and victory comes via knockout by TKO or by points. And the winner is often literally the last one standing. And in many cases, not bleeding and also not swollen at their head. Yes, those videos are there too. Swollen sides of completely side of their face. It looks like they've been in a car accident. This type of stuff happens. But also last year when they announced this whole thing back in October, Dana White was asked about it. And I think he could feel a little bit of the criticism coming because he was already defense, uh, defending it like crazy, watch. What is their involved? It'll be regulated exactly like this sport is. Um, you know, I, I saw a lot of a lot of the goofballs out there talking. Um, goofballs being media guys, uh, you know, uh, talking about oh, what's next, mallets and stupid shit like that. The bottom line is, if if you watch a boxing match, guys get hit with three, four hundred punches in a in a fight. These guys are, are going to get hit with three slaps. Mm-hmm. So for, for for these morons to be talking all the that they are about the athletic commission and stuff. The athletic commission did the right thing. So did we, we run toward regulation. We wanna regulate the sport and make sure it's safe for everybody. Cause a lot of people are gonna get involved in this just like they did MMA. What if a UFC fighter came up to you and said, I wanna try this out? Anybody can try it out. You can try it out if you want Pass. to. We're, 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 uh, we're looking at that. I mean, MMA guys have reached out to me. MMA guys have reached out to him. Brett, you ready to go ahead and put your face on the line? Maybe you have a nice solid hand. There's more info about this, but I'm curious what you're thinking. Yeah, they reached out to him by going, all right, stay still, <laughs> Dana. One. This is one of those where like I am, I hate to say this, I'm with Dana White. <laughs> like I watch football, they knock each other out. They change the rules to kind of lessen the impact because that sport is not explicitly centered on knocking people in the brain. I want all of those things to be, you know, change the rules, make it less horrible. I want the, the fundamentals to be attacked. But like MMA, boxing, this, yeah, do it. If you are the kind of person who's like, that's what I want in uh, for, I think they should put a disclaimer at the beginning of the show because of two reasons. One, just so everybody knows, like this causes traumatic brain injury pretty much every round. So that people know and the ones who don't want to be involved stay away. And uh, every douchebag who likes this in MMA is gonna say like, that makes it even cooler. Because I don't know, I like MMA and I like this because I wanna know where all the like meathead D-bags are in the city and I want them localized (laughs) in one place so I can go someplace else. Well, this is the thing, bro. No, listen, they, they've got um, the goofballs, as uh, uh, Dana White pointed out, and apparently the people that you oppose as well. They've come forward and they've talked about, I think, what you mentioned the traumatic brain injuries that could happen, CTE, of course, it comes down the line after your brain bounces off of it four or five different times, and you continue to compete with concussions. There's way these things happen. One of those uh, nerds was Chris Nowitzki. He posted that uh, one of those videos, and he pointed out how ridiculous this whole thing is. And it's uh, one particular person, he says, will never be the same after footage 
footage appeared to show him showing immediate signs of that brain injury. He was in that first video with his arms in the um, forget the position, same as uh, yeah. uh, Tua there in the NFL, uh, with his arms in that um, I can't remember that one position, but where they're lying there and it's obvious that it's a brain injury. So, I mean, we'll see because as many articles, I believe the SI article pointed out when. The MMA started and Dana White was a part of that one of those organizations. There was pushback about, yo, we're gonna have people kicking each other in the face on TV like a gladiator sport. Look at where we are now. Apparently he thinks this is going that same way. But uh, one more thing, I mentioned college before. We watched these videos in college, we don't have to run this. We watched these videos in college when I was an immature 22 year old. Um, and we had a good time because we were immature 22 year olds. Uh, Hot 97 uh, ran these back in the day, bro. He's, what I wanted him to to clarify and to explain is, is how much did they get for you stealing their idea, Dana? How about that, bro? Let's move on to the next story. Fine, I think I won that one, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, go to this next story. See sorry. if you're gonna buy these new. Uh, well, wait, wait, no. You have a last thought? I'd love to hear it. Uh, I think they should change the sport. Like, I think this sport's funny because it's hitting people in the face. But I think there's a way it could be funnier is if you get like dudes with beer bellies to pull their shirt up and just smack each other on the belly because it's like obviously it's a brain injury. You're hitting people where their brain lives. But if we just migrate south. And just get guys totally wasted and open hand smack each other on the belly. We'll solve the problem. Especially when they're wasted, I think they might miss and go a little too low. And we have <laughs> new rules in the slap boxing competition. The uh, only thing explicitly <laughs> more funny than belly smacking is the <laughs> hitting the nuts. Just ask Pixar. Open handed.